Hello, and welcome back to Pinto Consulting's video lessons. In Lesson 2 of Skin Creator, we're going to show you how to change or attach a logo. We're going to show you about breadcrumbs, copyright, date, search, and terms. And we're going to show you how to change the font throughout the site in one easy step. The very first thing that we want to show you is about the logo. The logo on this site is actually called My Site. It's a text logo. So if you open up the logo menu, you'll see that the logo type is text and the text itself is My Site. You can change that text to say anything you want. Or you can change it from the logo type text to an image. For our example, we have already created an image that will be our logo. This is something that you can do in Adobe Photoshop, you can do in Paint, or you can go to websites like Logo Creator or Logo Maker and create a logo on their site, purchase it, and then attach it to your site. Once you've got your logo image, you're going to go into Path and go find where it is that you've stored that image so that you can attach it. Simply insert it and there's your logo. Now you'll see in the center of this menu the DNN controls. This sh shows you the breadcrumbs, the copyright, date, search, terms, there are three at the bottom, the copyright terms and privacy. You want to leave those on. They've got some legal boundaries that you want to be able to have on your site. You want people to be able to find those. Breadcrumbs, if you're unfamiliar with, are basically a breadcrumb train that you'll find at the top of the page that shows you what page you started from, what page you're at now, and any pages that you clicked on in between. You can leave those on or by clicking false, you can turn them off. You'll see at the top of this page, Thursday, August 6th, you can change the date as well. You can either leave it so that the date shows, or you can click that to false so that people don't see the date. Login, most of your customers won't need to log in, and most of them will simply bypass it altogether. You need to be able to log in as an admin, so you want to leave that there. The last thing that we're going to show you on this lesson will be how to change your font in one easy step. You want to go into Tools and down to Power Editor. Now as I said before on the font, you can change the font one item at a time or you can go to Power Editor, click on Font, decide what font you want your website to have, find it, choose the size, and click OK. Take that item that you've chosen, you're going to add it to Properties to Change. Now go into each of the tabs located along the top, Package Styles, you want to select All, Skin Styles, you want to select All, and Container Styles. If you want to change the font throughout, you select every item, and then click OK. Just that easy. In our next lesson, we'll show you about containers, and we'll show you how to create the package that you'll attach for your skin on your site.